Hello, dear students. How are you today? I hope you are all fine. I am Jaina Gurzakirova, your English teacher, and today we will continue learning English. Let's start. Do you know our topic today? No? Let's find out it together. Look, we have a secret code here. We can see the letters and signs. Let's try to find this word. We have five signs. It means we have five letters. What is the word? What do you think? We have a star. It is H. Okay. Next one is E. Good. Next signs L. And the last sign is O. It is Hello. Now please try to find the topic of our lesson. You have five seconds to do it. Could you find the answer? You are right. Today we are going to talk about family. Brilliant. Look what I have here for you. These are cards with some words about family members. Your task is to put these words into a boy and a girl group. For example, a brother is a boy and a sister is a girl. Very good. Now please, try to do the other parts yourselves. Okay, let's check. So next word is mother. Where is it? It is in the second column, a girl. Father is a boy, good. Grandfather, it is, okay, it goes to a boy column. Grandmother, a girl. Grandson, a boy. Granddaughter, a girl. Son, it's a boy. And daughter is a girl. Very good, well done. Now look please at the words father and mother. Can we use one word for both of them? Of course we can. It is parent. So father and mother are parents. What about grandfather and grandmother? They are grandparents. Very good. What about grandson and granddaughter? They are grandchildren. Son and daughter? They are children. Brilliant. Now, let's look at this picture, please. What can you see on this picture? It is a family tree. Very good. Who can you see on this picture? We can see mother, father, grandmother, grandfather, daughter, son, and the other members of the family. And today we are going to learn some more words to talk about family members. Look at this picture, please. This is Mia. And this is Liz. Tell me, please. Who is Liz for Mia? Liz is Mia's mother's sister. So she is her aunt. Repeat after me, please. Aunt. Aunt. Very good. So Liz is Mia's aunt. Again, we are looking at Mia and Mike. Who is Mike for Mia? He is uncle. Mike is Mia's uncle. Repeat after me, please. Uncle. Uncle. Very good. 
And who is Mia for Mike? Mike is Mia's uncle and Mia is Mike's niece. Very good. So repeat after me, please. Niece. Niece. Great. And look at this boy, Harry. Who is Harry for Mike? Harry is Mike's nephew. Repeat after me, please. Nephew. The stress is on the first syllable. Nephew. Good. Can a boy be a niece? No, he can't. Can Harry be nephew? Yes, he can. Very good. Well done. Let's learn some more words. Jessica and Harry. Who is Harry for Jessica? Cousin. Harry is Jessica's cousin. Repeat after me, please. Cousin. Cousin. Okay. What about Claire and Tom? Who is Claire for Tom? She is Tom's wife. Repeat after me, please. Wife. Wife. Very good. And who is Tom for Claire? Tom is Claire's husband. Repeat after me. Husband. Husband. The stress is on the first syllable. Now let's read together. Aunt, uncle, niece, nephew, cousin, wife, husband. Well done, guys. Very good. Now it is the best time to practice. Your task is to match the words 1, 6 with the words in the box. Sister, mother, niece, daughter, wife, granddaughter, and aunt. So if we have son, we put daughter. Please do the other parts yourselves. Now let's check your answers. Nephew is a boy, niece is a girl, good, number two, uncle and aunt, number three, father and mother, number four, husband and wife, number five, brother and sister, of course, grandson and Granddaughter. Good job, guys. Very good. Let's continue practicing. So, we have worked with words. Now, let's work with sentences. In this exercise, you have to complete the sentences using the words in the box. For example, my aunt's is my uncle. You write, my aunt's husband is my uncle. So please do the sentences one, two, six.
Let's check your answers. Number one, my sister is my father's daughter. Good. Number two, my mother's is my father. My mother's husband is my father. Very good. Number three, my father's brother is my uncle. Good. Number four, my aunt's nephew is my brother. Number five, my father's wife is my mother. Good. And number six, my mother's sister is my aunt. Please check your answers and correct your mistakes. Have you finished checking? Okay, let's continue. Today we are going to talk about possessive S. So we add apostrophe S to a name or noun to show possession or a family relationship. For example, my cousin's husband or Mia's mother is clear. Look at this picture, please. We have here Mia and her mother is Claire. So you write, Mia's mother is Claire. And also, we just add an apostrophe to plural nouns ending in S. My parents' friends. It means not only one parent, but two parents. Plural form. And you add just apostrophe. Or, for example, my friend's brother. But, if the plural form doesn't end with S, you should add apostrophe S, his children's school. Can you see the ending? Okay, great. Now let's practice. Look at this picture and try to complete the sentences. We are doing the first one together. Harry is Tom's son. Good. Now please try to do the other sentences yourselves. Let's check your answers. Martin, where is Martin? Okay, and Tom? Who is Martin for Tom? Martin is Tom's father. Number three, they are Sophie's parents. Number four, Harry is Liz's nephew. Number five, Lisa is Mia's grandmother. Number six, Claire and Liz are Jessica's aunts. Okay, and number seven, Poppy, Harry, and Mia are all these grandchildren. Very good, well done. Now, please, look at this family tree. We have here grandparents, parents, and children. And your task is to make sentences using these names and the family tree. So number one, Mark and Andy. Who is Mark for Andy? Mark is Andy's brother. Very good. Now please try to do the other sentences yourselves.
Let's check your answers. Number two, Ben and Anna. Ben is Anna's cousin. Good. Number three, Joanna and Rob. Okay. She is Rob's grandmother. Number four, Lucy and Ben. Lucy is Ben's aunt. Good. Number five, Rob is Lucy's nephew. Is it correct? Yes. Number six, Zack is Emma's husband. Nice. And number seven, Sam is Andy's father. Very good. Well done. Today we have learned more words about family members. And now your task is to answer my questions. For example, my question is, who is your son's son for you? And you say, he is my grandson. Are you ready? Let's go. So, who is your daughter's daughter for you? She is your granddaughter. Who is your mother's father for you? He is your grandfather. Who is your mother's mother for you? She is your grandmother. Good. Who are you for your aunt? Okay. So it can be niece or nephew. If you are a girl, you are a niece. If you are a boy, you are a nephew. Okay. Who is your brother for your parents? Mm -hmm. they, he is a son. Who is your sister for your parents? Daughter. Very good. Mm -hmm. And tell me please, who is your mother's brother for you? Your uncle. And who is your father's sister for you? She is your aunt. Very good, guys. Well done. So this is the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for your attention. See you next time. Bye-bye.